Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Christopher Genuzzi, Executive Director of the Electrochemical Society, and it is my very great pleasure to welcome you to the 235th ECS meeting for over 117 years. Thank you. ECS meetings have served to not only convene the world's foremost authorities working in the electrochemical and solid state sciences, but also to bring together friends, old and new, colleagues, to create long lasting collaborative networks and to collectively enrich and energize our professional lives. This week, we have 47 symposia with almost 2,300 talks. Um, 1,839 of those are oral, 432 posters, and 866 student talks, all coming from 60 countries. With numbers like this, it's clear to see that if your interests are in the field of electrochemical or solid state sciences, you will find what you're looking for here in Dallas. Uh, a brief word to those who are new to ECS uh, or are perhaps coming back to ECS for the first time in a few years. Welcome. Thank you for coming. And please know if there's anything we can do to help you make the most of your ECS experience, please let us know. And we ask that you take the time to learn more about the society, how you can join, support, and benefit from en engagement with this amazing organization. The conference ex exhibition opens immediately after this event. So be sure to stop by the ECS booth to meet with the staff. And while you're there, visit all our exhibitors and sponsors who make this event possible. Uh, in closing, I would like to wish you all a very wonderful week here in the great state of Texas. Uh, and I will ask you to join me in welcoming ECS President Yu Kuo to the podium at this time. Yu? Thank you, Chris. And thank you all of your attendees for the coming to a meeting and join over the 2,200 of your friends and colleagues here in Dallas. I hope you are all using the ECS mobile app. The app includes the online program and the meeting scheduler and search ECS mobile in your app store to download. While on the topic of the meeting, I would like to thank our sponsors. The continued meeting sponsorship helps our organization grow. In addition, we would like to welcome our institutional members to the meeting. These institutions serve as supporters of ECS by maintaining annual memberships for their organizations. This year, we are re recognizing several organizations for their milestone institutional membership anniversaries through our Leadership Circle Awards. We have two companies that are celebrating 10 years with the ECS. One is Geleste, and the other company is Los Alamos National Laboratory. Additionally, there are five organizations celebrating their five-year anniversaries with ECS. Their names are El Cell GmbH, Ford Motor Company, Iron Power, SanDisk, Tianjin Lishan Battery Joint Stock Company, LTD. Our continuous success hinges on both our individual members and our institutional members. Present with us today are Alvaro Masayas from Ford Motor Company and Rod Borup from Los Alamos National Laboratory. I would kindly ask them to come to the stage to accept their respective awards at this time.
Thank you all very much for your continued support and engagement. Next, we would like to call Ragad Rengadri Mukondan to the stage. Mukond recently finished his seven-year tenure as a technical editor for the Journal of the Electrochemical Society and the ECS Electrochemistry Letters. As a token of the appreciation for your dedication, we present a scroll in recognition of your service. Thank you for your service to society, the dissemination of the research in our technical domain is at the heart of ECS's mission. It is individuals like you who make the, this happen. <laughs> now, I would like to recognize the Society's 2019 Summer Fellowship recipients. ECS has been offering summer internships since 1928. These awards were established to assist students from June through September. We have two winners this year. They each receive 5,000 US dollars to support their research. Our first recipient is Bilen Akunzum receiving the Edward G. Weston Fellowship. Weston was the founder of Weston Instruments. Unfortunately, Bilen could not join us today. However, our second summer fellowship recipient, Ritambra, Gaunt is with us in the audience. Vitambra, please stand. She is receiving... <laughs> she is receiving this year's Joseph W. Richards Fellowship. Richards was the first president of ECS. Congratulations to both our summer internship fellowship recipient. I would also like to take a minute to congratulate our division and the section award winners. We have them posted online and in the meeting program. Please make a point to go to their sessions where you'll get a true feel for why they are being recognized by their peers. More notably, today we have two society awards to give out. The first is Alan J. Bart Award in Electrochemical Science. The Alan J. Bart Award in Electrochemical Science was established in 2013 to recognize distinguished contributions to electrochemical science. The award is named in honor of Alan J. Bard in recognition of his outstanding advancements in electrochemical science. Please join me in welcome Hector Abruna to the stage. <laughs> Hector Abruna is receiving <laughs> This, uh, <laughs> this award for revolutionizing our understanding of electrochemical interfaces for the novel modification of electrode surfaces and for developing fuel cell electrocatalysts, organic materials for batteries, and graphene as an electrochemical platform. Dr. Abruna gave this award talk, Energy Convergence and Storage, 
novel materials and operando methods earlier today. The talk will be available after the conclusion of this meeting on the Society YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ellen J. Bart in Electrochemical Soci uh, Science recipient, Dr. He Hector Abruna. The next Society Award was established in 1971 as the Solid State Science and Technology Award for distinguished contributions to the field of solid state science and technology. The award was renamed in 2005 in honor of Golden E. Moore. David, please stand to be recognized. David Lockwood is being recognized for understanding original contributions to the elucidation of the role of quantum confinement effects in the optical and electrochemical properties of semiconductor nanostructures with applications in optoelectronics and photonics. Dr. Lockwood presented his talk, silicon-based photonic integrated circuits. The quest for compatible light sources earlier today. This talk will also be available after the meeting on the Society's YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden E. Moore Medal for Outstanding Achievement in Solid State Science and Technology recipient David Lockwood. At this time, I would like to welcome Cohen Kass for the ECS plenary lecture on guardian angels turning sick care into health care. Kong is a health care futurist, entrepreneur, founding CEO of health, health SK Outs, an acclaimed international keynote speaker and author of Seek No More and Your Guide to Diligent, just a few of Cass's many titles. Cohn's natural born curiosity caused him to become f fascinated with basic biology at a very young age. This interest eventually led him to specialize in oncology and to further examine the structure of the current healthcare system. His goal is to redesign healthcare by combining biology, chemistry, and smart technology, and taking the data generated to biohack bio our lives. In order to move from silk care into healthcare, all with the help of electrochemists like you. Please welcome Kong Haas. Okay, thank you very much. 